Right, man, I really ain't been going live and shit, man, but I've been sitting back watching a lot of shit, man. I had a lot of motherfuckers hit me up, you know, sending me shit. Like, hey, Hoop Ted, what's happening, fam? Hoop, man, you, goddamn Hoop, you the right nigga to ask this question, man. I'm trying to figure out something. Like, just say if a nigga has some, so goddamn me, a couple of young cats, or we're going to use me for example, because I don't say if a nigga wanted to. Drop a mixtape or drop an album right now. If a nigga had talent, goddamn me, do you think talent is better right now these days? Or it's best to motherfucking me have some beef with somebody like, goddamn me, uh, can a nigga blow up quicker if he diss some niggas or, you know, beef with some niggas or, you know, have some shootouts and... And put all that shit on social media. Do all that shit outweigh talent these days, man? I'm just wondering, man. Y'all got to excuse these bags, man. I've been sleeping like a motherfucker, man. Keela, what's happening, man? I know you can tell me. Goddamn me. Mary, Miss Mary, Mary. Y'all, y'all for real, though, man. Let's think about this, this shit, man. With this game right now. Like, what's the fastest way for a nigga to blow up? Do you got a beef with some niggas? Like, do niggas sit back and, and say, hey, man. People ain't fucking with my music when I'm just, you know, trying to promote my shit regular. So, I'm going to go get into it with some niggas or put my personal business. Because I always thought, nigga, I always thought your beef was personal motherfucking business. I didn't know it was the world business. Like, you know, a lot of shit done changed, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to figure this shit out because I watch a lot of shit that tripped me out, man. Like, I, 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 it's the shit so funny. I watch people trying to. Trick me into beefing with people, man. You know, that shit funny. My motherfucker make a video talking about Dallas. <laughs> and a nigga hit me up and want me to respond to the shit like I own Dallas or some shit. You did? Like a nigga own Dallas. Lucky. Lucky. I know you know. Lucky, tell me. What's the fastest way for a motherfucker to, to, to blow up? Do you got a beef with a motherfucker like, goddamn me? What if a nigga want to do some music? But he ain't got nobody to beef with. <laughs> a nigga might not sell. If a nigga ain't got nobody to beef with, goddamn me, how you gonna compete these days, man? Yeah, that's crazy. That you down, you ain't lying, goddamn me. For real, who is like, it's like, fuck your talent, man. It's all about who you can beef with. And then it's the funny part. Niggas get mad at me because I say shit like this, man. I know I, I you know I pray it never happened to all the guys, to the Holy Ghost and FOMO guys, uh goddamn me, I lie. Yeah, sure, all of them. You know, I you know I, I believe in all of them. We put it like all of them cool with me. But watch this. What's so motherfucking cool about when a nigga, a nigga kill your homeboy, a nigga do something to your home? Bree, what's happening? Fake beef with anybody. Okay, well, 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 Rico, man, you gonna start beefing. Maybe we can get a rocker deal. But watch this, though, man. Maybe I'm missing some around this bitch. But what's cool about a nigga killing your homeboy and you gonna make a song and a motherfucking video about it? Like, y'all ain't seeing this shit, man, how corny this shit is? Man, thank you. Thank you, Hootie, man. For real, you gotta stay real regardless. What's happening, Ruby? Nah, y'all, 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 hear me out right quick, man. Like, like the fans be cheering this old, this shit on, man. Like, they want to see who gonna diss who next. Or, oh man, that nigga said this about that nigga. Like that nigga went hard or whatever. But then when somebody get actually get killed, then people want to cry about it. I don't understand that shit. I thought if nigga was out here claiming bloods and crips and all that shit, I thought y'all was with the shit. I thought that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? Then, then motherfucker get killed. What's cracking, cuz? Like I'm, I'm trying to understand this shit. Then when a then when you, then when a nigga get killed, off of all the shit they talking, motherfuckers want to turn into police officers. Man, this shit is so motherfucking weird to me, man. You know I don't like to speak on shit that ain't my business. You know what I'm saying? I try to stay out of niggas' business. Y'all know me, man. It's grow business on mine, but. Motherfuckers steady keep hitting me up, sending me shit, man. Hey, man, I don't know shit about no motherfucking other niggas' beef. Now, if you ask me something, I'll tell you. Yeah, like Killer Cam. Like you say that Lil Boosie song was confusing. Hey, man, let me explain something to y'all. 
about rappers, and I ain't finna disrespect Boosie, disrespect Mo3, disrespect Yellow B, or disrespect Trap, because I'm not built like that, my nigga. If I had a problem with a nigga, I'ma tell that nigga first. The fuck I'ma go tell the engineer and go tell the producer in the studio first? If I got a problem with a nigga, you supposed to tap that nigga on the shoulder and tell that nigga, man. But like this shit with Boosie, what's weird with me about Boosie? That nigga talking about do a stick in the car challenge. Man, why in the fuck would you have these young niggas out here doing a stick in the car challenge? With a motherfucking chopper. Y'all gonna fuck around and get somebody killed with all of those stupid ass shit. Stick in the car challenge. But you mourning your partner just got killed. Nigga, you done been to jail for a motherfucking uh, M. But you run around telling people to do a stick in the car challenge. No. Nigga, tell a nigga to do a stop that bullshit challenge, nigga. Tell a nigga to stop fucking each other off. Nigga, do a, do a, niggas, let's stop killing each other motherfucking challenge if you want to impress me. Like, this shit is so fucked up, man. Like, I hate it. Like, everybody know I fuck with the rap game, man. I wanted to be a rapper, but I wanted to get a, some game. I didn't want to mislead my motherfucking people and, and tell them no whole bunch of bullshit that's going to get a nigga more years, more years, and more motherfucking years. This nigga telling y'all to do a stick in the car challenge. I know that shit is wrong with y'all. No, nah, though, it's like, it, it's fucked up. No, nah, for real, Precious, like, goddamn me, somebody got to say some real shit, man. We got a lot of weird shit going on right now, like niggas disrespecting the dead and all that shit. Man, come on, man. That fool's they. <laughs> nah, for real. Yeah, nah, for real. You got a gun license. Yeah, do a gun license challenge or, or, or tell niggas to, to goddamn me come together challenge. Like, see, a lot of them rap niggas like G's and them. Them niggas tell you to trap or die, but send their kids to school, to college and shit, man. I think a lot of us fucked up, bro. We get entertainment fucked up with the real shit. They ain't got to. Now, you're right. A lot of these kids don't listen, man. But this is one thing I learned about this game, man. You got to keep talking. It's like when you're raising your kids, man. Yeah, all that smoking on right, smoking on Pookie Loke. Cam Cam Ridge, let me tell y'all some shit about this shit. Gucci man made that shit look real good. We know Gucci ain't no hoe or none of that shit. But he made that shit look good, disrespecting Jesus, but... Simple motherfuckers didn't get the whole picture. They were trying to show you that niggas can have that kind of beef and, and, and come together when they get grown and drop that shit. But everybody was focused on the bullshit. I wonder how many of y'all paid attention to after the shit was over with or heard or seen. Man, Gucci was outside with on motherfucking me security, man. They weren't looking for no trouble, but you got niggas hear that shit or see that shit. And they start putting themselves in that position like, you know what? I wish a nigga would do me like that or disrespect my motherfucking home, boy. Man, this shit is it, 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 like, we, like, bro, we tripping. Nigga, I've been dying to see Dallas get on, nigga. Like, you got a lot of hating ass niggas out here in the rap game. Niggas with record labels. Niggas with money. You got broke nigga. You got a lot of hating ass niggas in Dallas, my nigga. I'm born and raised in Dallas. You can't tell me shit about Dallas, my nigga. We got a fucked up ass hating ass city. When you start getting a little money... You're going to be a part of some kind of fucked up rumor, some kind of lie, male or female. If you start doing too good, a bitch starts stripping and start blowing up in the strip club, bitch is going to hate on it and talk about her. If a nigga get a spot and start hitting them on the streets, he going to get a whole bunch of motherfucking enemies. He going to get a whole bunch of niggas that's hating on him that didn't even give a fuck about who he was yesterday. It's fucked up. It's like you the safest when you broke in Dallas, man. This shit crazy in the motherfucker. The haters and gay ass rappers. See, no, 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 I can't see. I done learned my lesson by speaking on the LGBT 2 q q o w a a a l m n o p community. I'm not speaking on them people. They got too much motherfucking power. I'd rather fuck with Trump. So I'm going to act like I didn't see that motherfucking message, man. For real. We're going to leave them peoples alone. Them people don't play. <laughs> but now, though, for real, though, think about this shit, man. Man, Dallas could be on my nigga. We could have a... A, 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 a top rapper, you know, nigga from Pleasant Grove, from Oak Cliff, from East Dallas, from West Dallas, from North Dallas, from the Cliff. We could have niggas from all hoods eating like a motherfucker, man. If niggas wasn't on this sucker shit, man. It's like I'm trying to, like, everybody got a beef. That beef shit is killing us, bro. I ain't telling nigga don't have no problem with no nigga, but why you got to put that shit on the, on the motherfucking songs? And y'all out here churning these old... Simple-minded ass niggas on making videos with all these guns and shit. Nigga, somebody killed your motherfucking homeboy, and you gonna go make a video? 
You gonna go write a diss song? Man, I wish a nigga would disrespect me. Nigga, you disrespecting me more than you disrespected the mother than, than the motherfucker that killed me. For real. You wanna make a motherfucking song about a nigga that, hey man, that's the best you could do? A nigga that killed your home, be talking, I'ma ride for him, I'ma slide for him. By making a song? Man, this shit is crazy. I don't get this shit, bro. The game that got weird in the motherfucker. Like, I'm just saying, like, I don't promote none of the sucker shit, none of the beef shit. But if you gon' beef, if you gon' do that, hey, man, y'all know where to find these niggas at. Y'all putting all these innocent people in y'all motherfucking shit. You say they, they ain't want to be in the same building with him. Uh, with who? With who, Cam? I missed that one. You say they didn't want to uh, versus Mo3. Man, that's like, 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 like I said. If you ask me something about that, I speak on it. But I don't really know. You know, I don't. I, I, I can't. I can't. I don't know Mo three, and I don't know them niggas like that personally. So I'll be like these old weird ass blog niggas. Hey man, since that shit that came out, I done seen five, six niggas that they blaming for the murder, claim they killed that man. So I done seen all these fake ass posts. So. When I learn about shit like that, when it's corny like that, hey, man, just back up and stay out there. Shit, let the police do their motherfucking job, man. The police can't do their job because everybody around here <laughs> trying to do their job. <laughs> I didn't realize we had so many motherfucking private investigators in Dallas, man. Now I understand how everybody get told on around this bitch, man. He did so many lives about it. I'm like, what you trying to say? Like, because cause, 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 cause one thing I know about the situation... Yeah, you got to blame them niggas OG because, I, you know, I watch and listen to niggas say shit like, I ain't got no OGs. And them niggas who say they ain't got no OGs, look how they move around this bitch. For real. So I'm glad I had some OG niggas around me to pull my coattail because my nigga, we was doing a whole bunch of dumb shit. But if it wasn't for niggas who already went through that shit to pull a nigga to the side and let a nigga know, hey, little homie. You're going to get a bunch of time for that shit, my nigga. You ain't going to be able to be here to protect your family. You niggas out here catching cases for niggas that ain't going to even write, child. Niggas out here catching cases for niggas that ain't going to do nothing but fuck your bitch when you go to jail. You did. Niggas out here catching, catching cases for niggas that don't give a fuck about them for a hood. Don't give a fuck about you, my nigga. Because you thinking that shit cool. I guess you got to wait till you get in TDC and be down on that 10th year, that 15th year. And you ain't heard from nobody in years but that one homegirl from the hood that, that reach out and send you pictures every now and then and them niggas just going on about their motherfucking business. I'm telling you how this shit go. Niggas sing all them motherfucking songs about how they down and how they do all that. Man, get in that motherfucking penitentiary. Motherfuckers going about their motherfucking life, man. Everybody ain't lucky. I was one of them lucky niggas. I got fan mail. For real. I had niggas sitting around me waiting on me to get mail so they could see my motherfucking mail. You know what I'm saying? But I was in touch with the streets like that. A lot of you out here beefing with everybody, nigga. I don't beef with no niggas. Beef with niggas for what? If a nigga don't like me, it got something to do with a bullshit ass bitch. I probably don't even remember, man. For real. I don't do no beefing, man. We out there trying to get some motherfucking money. Like, it, it's fucked up. Like, motherfucker want you to speak on shit, but huh, I'm going to speak on some Mo3 and Yellow Bees. And when I sit back and watch Mo3, man, hey, man, he was with that shit. He repped that shit, man. Hell no, nah, that man shouldn't have got killed. I wish he wouldn't have got killed, you know, because the man was good for the culture, man. He was good for the music, man. But goddamn me, somebody got to pull some niggas to the side and be like, hey, fam, let's chill out a little bit, man. You know, we done ate off that shit. Everybody know you ain't no hoe, man. Let's chill and do something different, man, because when you at the top like that, my nigga, you set the standards. They don't give a fuck about what no OG nigga with no hits talking about. They want to hear about the nigga with the views on YouTube. They don't give a fuck what you done did. And that's it, that's what, even Yellow Trap, all of them, hey man, you niggas really like leaders of the motherfucking uh, rap community, man. Let's think if them niggas out here saying some good shit. Them niggas out here fucking with people trying to help other motherfuckers blow up from hood to hood, city to city. You know what I'm saying? My nigga, we could be live in the motherfucker, man. Bro, I remember when it was, nigga had to figure out which club he was going to go to in Dallas because there were five, six, seven, eight clubs jumping. You niggas done fucked everything up to what nigga lucky to have one or two clubs to go to. And then a nigga scared to go to them because y'all might shoot that bitch up. For real. Man. Whoa, man. Nah, not, 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 I'm saying not just him. It's a lot of niggas, bro. Like, this culture is different. 
You don't even have to have no motherfucking talent to blow up. Your talent can be talking about another motherfucker. For real. I watch niggas sit back and make videos talking about Dallas. Like Dallas niggas hoes did it. Hey man, a nigga be in the same room with a Dallas nigga and be cool in a motherfucker. I done been in the same room with these niggas that talk uh, hate on Dallas. I'm not looking for no beef, but hey man, I accept any motherfucking challenge a man got for me. For real. Like the Cali niggas say, I had never turned down a motherfucking fade, my nigga. If I did, I was a little boy and, and didn't know no motherfucking better. For real. So, what's wrong with, with, with goddamn me telling a nigga, hey man, we got problems, my nigga, but I'm going to chill, my nigga. I'm finna live for my family, bro. You going on your side, because I know you got your family to take care of. And out of respect, bro, we just going to stay out of each other motherfucking way. Because watch this. You niggas going to jail for bullshit ass niggas and bullshit ass hoes. And when you in the penitentiary, nigga, who going to protect your motherfucking kids, nigga? Who going to protect your mama? Who going to protect your grandmama, my nigga? Who going to protect your family? Nigga, going to protect the shit that you made when you go to jail. Y'all out here listen to these niggas that be going to jail and, and playing crazy. Niggas don't even hit the motherfucking tanks. They don't hit the penitentiary. These niggas around this bitch going to protective custody. When they go to jail or they play crazy and they go to the crazy house, these niggas ain't seeing no real units. They ain't been involved in no real wars. Nigga, they ain't never went in no motherfucking world where nigga, as soon as you wake up and they roll the doors, nigga, your life in motherfucking danger, nigga. Like, that shit crazy. Niggas be thinking they want to live that shit. Them be them same niggas in the penitentiary down there you hear about when they get down there getting motherfucking raped, robbed, and murdered, my nigga. For real. I don't know what, like, I, 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 know, this, I know this shit is entertaining, we not going to lie. The shit is entertaining, man, but we got to be smarter than that, my nigga. We can't let everybody get fucked off like this. Man, this shit getting worse and worse, my nigga. That fool said I know it was PC for me. <laughs> bitch, you stupid luck. <laughs> that bitch lucky talking about she was in PC. Nah, for real, though, think about this whole ass shit, man. It's a lot of niggas we know for a fact in the hood. Playing with them pistols, doing all this whole ass shit. And we know they pussy. Half the niggas shooting, shooting because they pussy. For real. Niggas don't want to fight nobody. For real. Niggas don't want to do nothing gangster. You tell them niggas, hey man, the niggas that you into it with, I'm finna, I'm finna set up a fight. I'm finna set up a one-on-one -on -one with you and the nigga you into it with. Them niggas is not going to show up, man. Oh, uh, 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 bitch, we know you was in PC. You was trying to get where the other punks was at. We know why you was in PC. You was trying to get where the other homosexuals was at. We know. <laughs> nah, for real though, man. Like, I be seeing this shit. Niggas be tagging me and shit. Like, they want me to comment. Like, let me get the OG in this shit. Let me see if I can get the OG to get into it with this nigga. Y'all don't peep that shit. Motherfuckers will tag y'all so y'all can get into it with a motherfucker. Just to get y'all fucked off. For real. Y'all done listen to some of the craziest. Y'all be y'all around this bitch listening to mental patients. For real. Niggas be straight motherfucking mental patients. Wind y'all motherfuckers up. Just because it's entertaining. For real. Yes, yeah, ridiculous. Your mama got more heart than your daddy, bitch. <laughs> That nigga say they invented the safe prison program. Boy, that's some cold shit. And y'all know the motherfucking penitentiary ain't what it used to be. That shit organized like a motherfucker. They gonna, they gonna keep the, the good niggas with the good niggas and the damn fools with the damn fools. You can tell what a nigga was into or what kind of nigga he was. Just, 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 when them nigga write y'all them letters, ladies, see what unit them niggas on. And ask a nigga about that unit. Half them niggas in day curves. The whole penitentiary is not rocking and rolling. Some of that shit is a straight motherfucking daycare, man. And I guess that what them niggas be hoping gonna happen, man. You see them niggas talking about, yeah, man, I was going to court. I was facing 50 years. I was facing 60 years. But the nigga out. Ain't on no nothing. Hey, man, how y'all think that shit be happening? For real. Nah, for real. Think about that shit, my nigga. For real. And I hate to say this shit, my nigga. Niggas like that 6 9 nigga with this rap shit and snitching shit, they done make that shit popular than a motherfucker, man. For real. Think about this shit. I ain't just gonna say no names, but all these motherfucking hoods got a, a pop-ass snitch nigga that done told on somebody. 
He done went to the feds and came back. He riding this bitch getting money. He be in the strip club throwing motherfucking me money. He doing all that shit. And you niggas so homosexual, y'all don't say, hey, man, I'm going to stay away from that nigga. That nigga ain't right. Y'all just like bitches. Y'all go jump on a nigga dick, hoping the feds give him some bricks so y'all can get on too. Y'all hoping the nigga get some dope from the police so he can put you on too. Silly ass niggas. All you niggas going down. <laughs> All you niggas going down, man. Hey, man, somebody got to speak up for the solid niggas, my niggas. We still around, my nigga. We still minding our own motherfucking business. We still laying low. We still staying out these suckers niggas' way, man. For real. There's some real niggas still out here, man. There's some niggas out here don't want no motherfucking attention from no motherfucking bullshit-ass people, man. For real. It's like, see, watch this, man. This what fucked me up, like, 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 with the blogs. Like, I'm watching this shit. My nigga, I could go on YouTube, and I know I ain't the only person. Y'all don't lie. You can go on YouTube right now and pull up Yellow Beezy, Trap Boy, or Mo3 Name. You're going to see about nine, ten fake-ass videos by Yellow Beezy cousin said, Trap Boy cousin said, or the guy who uh, did something to Mo3. And all that shit be lies and fake shit. It don't be the truth. Like, 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 man, how did the culture get like this, man? Like, how did this shit get built up, get built off on lies? Every motherfucking Thursday, they got a new nigga they talking about kill Mo3. R.I.P. Mo3, man. Every Thursday, y'all got a new nigga y'all talking about did it. And y'all wonder why a nigga don't take Dallas seriously, man. For real. Like, let the police do their motherfucking job. Hey, man, if somebody did something wrong to somebody, if they say... The truth will come out. What's done in the dark will come out in the light, man. For real. Your, your controversy sales, Byron, you are so motherfucking true, fam. I swear you so true. But do y'all also know controversy kills? Controversy sales, but controversy kills too. For real. Hey, 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 Nick. I ain't going to say only in Dallas because these niggas got some sucker shit going on too. The main place these niggas look up to, Cali motherfucking California, they want to be Bloods and Crips. A lot of these niggas ain't never been to California. They ain't never been in none of these niggas' hoods. They ain't been on motherfucking me Rosecrans. They ain't been on Hoover Street. They ain't been where the 60s, the motherfucking me four trays, eight trays. They don't even understand Cali motherfucking me politics. Them niggas kill each other and snitch on each other too. Because a nigga claiming motherfucking Rolling 60, a nigga, cause a nigga claiming Bloodstone Villain, Treetop Pyro, that shit do not impress me. Because you niggas snitch on each other too, nigga. You niggas kill each other too, nigga. Look how this motherfucking me shitty cuz nigga did, uh, uh, goddamn me Nipsey. R.I.P. Nip, man. For real. And nigga be claiming these hoods, riding for these hoods. So all I gotta do to ride for my hood now is write up, make a song, make a diss song about Oak Cliff or. Make a dick song about East Dallas or West Dallas, and I'm a rider for my hood now. Hey, man, who you feed, nigga? Which one of your partners in the pen you going checking on they motherfucking kids, nigga? Or checking on they mamas and shit? Nigga, mama sick, grandmama sick. Nigga, who you checking on in your hood, nigga? Which kids you make sure got school clothes every motherfucking me time school start, nigga? Who can call you when they need something on their motherfucking bun, nigga? You niggas ain't rapping for no motherfucking hood. You niggas using your motherfucking hood for profit. Y'all peep that. These niggas is using the hood for profit. Niggas ain't gonna do shit for they motherfucking hood. Half these niggas. It's some niggas do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, if you done made it in the game, who riding through the hood trying to tell them young niggas, hey, man, bro, y'all ain't gotta be out here killing each other, man. Hey, man, I know you into it, whoop the woo now, but hey, man, I'm gonna try to bridge your gap, go talk to them niggas. Y'all don't say nothing else, and tell them niggas don't say nothing else, my nigga, and, and leave that shit alone. And if you niggas who really want to kill each other, go meet up with the nigga you want to kill. Go meet that nigga in the field and y'all go kill y'all motherfucking self. Nigga, let your motherfucking hood, uh, 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 uh goddamn me, live, nigga. Y'all be into it with niggas, then a nigga come up and, and, and spray your whole motherfucking hood. Nigga come through the hood, shoot, niggas ain't got nothing to do with shit. You'll get your homeboys killed or your or little kids from your neighborhood get killed. And you niggas gonna go to the studio and make a motherfucking song, nigga. Man, please. I, I, I guess that, I noticed that new era shit, my nigga. 
I understand music is, is, is entertaining, but hey, man, entertainment kills too, my nigga. Y'all look at this shit, how many rap niggas we done got fucked off. Nigga, rap used to be the way after game. What the fuck happened? Huh? Explain this to me, man. I thought the rap game was hood, nigga, slick way to get out the game. Because in Dallas, I watch, man, I'm like, I know niggas that have been around the city, man. We done seen so many cool niggas, good niggas out of Dallas, story record labels. They end up in the feds some kind of way, man. Shout out to my nigga Bowlegs, man. It's a lot of good niggas, man. And like these niggas be hating. Half these niggas that's hating this shit is funny. You ask a nigga, hey, man, why you don't like that nigga? Or, or you ask one of them young niggas, pull them to the side and be like, hey, fam, why you beefing with dude and them over there? Why you don't like them niggas? I done, I, I done been around my niggas, man, my young niggas. And some more young niggas pull up to come holler at me because everybody fuck with the OG from all sides, man. And I'd have some niggas pull up me from the other side and niggas start looking crazy. I'm like, damn, what's wrong? What? You know, why you don't fuck with them niggas? And nigga be like, man, I don't know. I just don't like them niggas. You don't know. You don't know. You just don't like them. Man, that's the most homosexual trait I've never heard in my motherfucking life. You don't know. You just don't like somebody. And then they don't be want to tell you the truth. It's all about some little bitch that the other niggas stick and dick to that they stick and dick to. That's what 90% of these niggas beef about these days. It's because a nigga fucking the same bitch they fucking. If I'm lying, my nigga prove me wrong. I don't give a damn. It might be a nigga with a bunch of money and a bitch fucking a broke nigga. So he in this feeling because he don't understand why the bitch want to fuck on a broke nigga. Because she know you fucking on a broke bitch somewhere, nigga. Shit. Like that shit crazy. All this beef niggas. I wouldn't be surprised if half the motherfucking murders that didn't happen, it boiled down to some little stanky, funky cock bitch, man. For real. Make me understand this shit, man. What is so motherfucking entertaining about beef to the black motherfucking community, man? For real. Because you got niggas like, what's, the, what's, the, what's this nigga name? <coughs> what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the cat name, the white boy cat? Somebody give me his name right quick, man. Uh... From Dallas be rapping, man, the White Iverson. Uh, uh, what's his name? The nigga with the, uh, with the little braids. Oh, white boy like he be hiding the motherfucker on them Zans and Perks. What's the white boy name, man? Somebody tell me the white boy name. We had that White Iverson. The song White Iverson, some shit. And what's that white boy name? Get post motherfucker Malone. Somebody says, okay, I tell a nigga, hey, man, the hottest nigga in the city from this area, DFW, is Post Malone. A nigga laugh at me. I tell nigga, nigga, I don't go off emotions. I go off numbers. Run the motherfucking numbers and tell me who I selling Post Malone around this bitch. And then tell me who Post Malone beefing with. Nigga ain't beefing with no motherfucking body and getting money like a motherfucker, man. I ain't saying don't beef, but if you got a beef with a nigga, kid, don't, don't let these rucker labels trick y'all into putting this beef on these motherfucking albums. Because they not going to be there when a nigga catch you in the motherfucking alley late night. They're not going to be there when a nigga catch you riding around with your hoe in the car and you talking all this shit to all these niggas and shit. Or they ain't going to be there when nigga catch you in the club and that thing outside you ain't got the shit in the club with you, man. For real. Like, 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 I, that's why I felt Pimp C, man. When Pimp came out and Pimp C told uh, 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 Pow Wow and Slim Thug and them, hey, man, y'all niggas tripping. It's too much money to get. Then all these niggas, like, I don't even be fucking, I, I, nigga, I play with the music shit. Niggas know me. I ain't no motherfucking real rapper, I, but I, I ain't no real rapper, but I can out-rap half the niggas that's rapping. I'm just not with the politics with the rap shit. Because I'm one of them niggas, I refuse to let a motherfucker tell me what to do. I couldn't be on nobody motherfucking record label. And we doing all this sucker shit right here. Because I'm going to be stood up and told the whole record label. Nigga, all you bitch-ass niggas tripping. Y'all going to get everybody killed. Y'all going to get our whole family killed. Over some motherfucking funk ass money that we could have made in the motherfucking streets, nigga. Like, what's the point of getting a record deal and going to get killed? You could have stayed in the hood standing on that funk ass block on that ugly cone and got yourself killed, nigga. For real. Just think about that shit. Like, why, like, why do why do we be supporting half this suck ass shit? Like, why? Cause this how that shit work, man. One of them rap niggas hear that shit, man. They gonna sit back and hear. If I say, fuck this nigga, I'm going to kill this nigga, and y'all laugh about the shit, after a while, nigga going to start believing that that's cool. Like, that's what it is to do. For real. 
Who from East Dallas, fool? The Mexican side. What I done missed, my nigga? Oh, you talking about Post Malone? <laughs> no, no, fam. Like, 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 where are the niggas at? They're standing up. Just telling niggas that they tripping. Like, I see more videos of niggas promoting bullshit or trying to keep niggas going and beefing than I see a nigga saying, hey, Dallas, my nigga, we tripping. Because a lot of times, it don't even be the motherfuckers who in the rap game doing the shit. It be the niggas around the rappers. For real. Think about this shit, bro. Like, 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 let's, let's talk some real shit. Just say, you in the Grove. And, and, and our partners from the Grove beefing with some niggas from another hood. Let's just say West Dallas. And some West Dallas, and I got some West Dallas partners. Nigga might come through the hood to come, you know, chop it up with me or something. And a nigga walk outside and some niggas from goddamn me. Some young niggas from my hood see this nigga and spray the nigga down. Now that nigga, the whole world gonna say, oh man, them niggas beefing. They now nah, everybody ain't beefing. That shit don't work like that. You got niggas from hood to hood that politics with niggas from hood to hood. I don't know who told y'all to start spreading that shit. Like, Dallas niggas divided. They don't fuck with niggas. It just Dallas got an unspoken motherfucking code. Street niggas and rap niggas are not. Fool. You the damn fool, nigga. If you gonna get on motherfucking me, Vlad talking about. Can y'all hear? Can you hear me now? Hey, Corey, what's happening, fam? I had my hand over the mic, man. Watch this. Street niggas and rap niggas are not the same. That don't mean it ain't no street niggas that rap. There's some street niggas that rap. Don't get me wrong, but you know the difference. For real. Yeah, I was covering the speaker, man. I would cover the speaker, for real. But think about this shit, man. It's so much fuck shit that's being spread it around. I could come out right now saying, hey, man, I want to get everybody together, you know, get, you know, not the rappers. The fuck y'all getting the rappers together for? Them niggas got egos. Them niggas got music to sell. You need to get with them niggas around them motherfucking rappers, nigga. Them niggas who feeding them the bullshit. Them niggas who telling them niggas, hey, man, fuck them niggas. Yeah, let's ride on them niggas. Ride for the hood. Hey, nigga, you done already made it. All you got to do is do music now, stupid. Stupid ass nigga, just do music. You done made it. You got the deal. Yeah, big Frank ass nigga, that's me. Because watch this. My nigga. If your motherfucking rapper label is telling you <laughs> to beef with niggas, you're on the wrong motherfucking rapper label. You must be talentless. <clears throat> if you ain't got no motherfucking talent, hell yeah, you're going to keep beefing with niggas and talking about niggas because you know that's all you got to offer to the game. Like the motherfucking the interviews. They ain't going to go on there and tell you about who they like in the interview. They're going to come on that bitch and tell you about who they don't like, my nigga. We got a hating ass culture right now. People don't even want to hear about who you fuck with, who you got love for, who you done fed, who you done took care of. They want to hear about who you want to kill, who you beefing with, who you hate, who you dislike. That's the game now, man. For real. It's a bunch of sucker shit. And everybody trying to promote, goddamn me, the wrong shit. For real. So y'all tell me. Please tell me. What's the best way to blow up these days? Beefing with a nigga or, or can you even blow up with raw talent? Can a nigga with some talent blow up or do you got to have somebody you beefing with? Because if we got to, me and my nigga Uchi Coop, we finna go find some, we finna start us a group and we finna ride around town and beef with every nigga that's rapping, man. Look for us. 
Yeah, Uchi Kutel, we finna start beefing with everybody so we can get a record deal. Because it seems like that's all you got to do. For real. Just beef with nigga. Let's talk. Let's disrespect everybody. Man, it's a disrespectful ass culture, though. But motherfucker be forgetting. Just because you disrespect somebody don't mean you won't get disrespected. Just because you kill somebody don't mean some of yours won't get killed. For real. It's like, when is a nigga going to sit back and say, hey, man, when this shit going to stop, man? Like, when we going to, like, I ain't saying uh, a goddamn all violence in the hood going to stop. But some of this shit is, is unnecessary. Like, it be dumb shit. When the shit happened, when some shit happened to a nigga, you be like, God damn. And you see niggas from all sides, all hoods posting the same nigga. When it's a good nigga like that, that let you know when shit is fucked up. But when something happened to a nigga and you see only his hood posting it and nobody else, you know what the fuck going on, man. For real. I be like, 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 we be sitting back playing like we don't know what the fuck going on. Like, why these niggas acting like that? Nigga, if your hood, them young niggas in your hood tripping, nigga, you failed them young niggas, man. For real. We know young niggas hard-headed. We know they don't listen, man. But it's like, man, you sit back and you watch the young niggas. I know what happened in every hood. You be having love for motherfuckers. They don't understand why you got love for them. But when you done grew up with motherfuckers' mamas and anus and, and you done watch them young niggas and young chicks grow up from kids, they don't know how many times you might have stopped them from running in the motherfucking street. They don't know how many times your mom and them probably was fucked up and they mom and them didn't have it and you probably slid it to them because you cut it for the young motherfuckers. It was your... Your partner's son or something. Uh, or it was your your your, your homegirl's son. She in jail or she fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't, they don't understand how far the hood go. Like, the young, they don't realize why you fuck with them. They thinking, oh, nigga, just fuck with them because they cool. No, nah, nigga, it might be because your mama, your grandmama, your, 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 your uncle, somebody was good to me. You know what I'm saying? It might be because somebody in your family was good to that old nigga. And goddamn it, nigga, you call old now, so he got respect like that. So now he trying to give you respect and pass it down. But a lot of times, niggas won't even accept that motherfucking respect, man. For real. Because sucker shit win. Like, it's fucked up. I see a lot of sucker shit going on every day, Jack. For real. But sucker shit, it seems like it kind of win. But that's, uh, that, that's us being lazy, my nigga, because the, 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 the real rap is the harder rap. Being a real nigga is the harder way. For real. Sometimes you hear some shit and you know some shit might start some shit. Like a nigga come tell you some shit about a nigga you know might get a nigga killed. Sometimes you can just keep that shit to yourself, believe it or not. That is an option. Man, you niggas gonna go get around a room full of niggas and repeat that shit. Because y'all like to see some shit. Y'all like to see some shit and say some shit that's gonna get a motherfucker killed. And then... Y'all ain't like karma not real, but then when the karma kick in and that shit come back on you and something happened to somebody around you, motherfuckers, wow, I can't believe. Hey, man, karma is motherfucking real. So I'm going to put it like this. I see 90% of the internet putting out negative energy and negative shit that's going to come right back around and get them, man. Boy, if I'm lying, I'm motherfucking dying, man. For real. That's how this shit, that's, that's how this shit go. And then you got... Yeah, then like the motherfuckers that we making popular and shit. Think about that. Yo, baby dad a sucker for show, sure, but don't say, man, lucky. <laughs> you had to go there, didn't you, my nigga? Watch this. Since you had to go there, while I'm on my, you know, I ain't been going live for none of this shit. I said 2021, I'm going to start back talking my shit. I'm going to get my little show back going and everything. But since we talking, I'm going to give you some real shit, Lucky. You know you my motherfucking nigga. And I keep telling you, don't bring my motherfucking homeboy up on my live. Because that is very disrespectful for me to you to him. Because I love both of y'all. But hey, man. You got to start managing your motherfucking pussy better, man. For real. I don't want to hear about no motherfucking my baby dad or my baby mama niggas. Manage your dick better. Women... Manage your motherfucking pussy better. In 2021, we taking our motherfucking L's and we moving the fuck on, man. For real. We already seen these bitches trying to kill us with corona. They got a whole new strand of corona. Half of you motherfuckers don't even know what the fuck corona is. For real. Half of you motherfuckers, I ain't taking the virus. Knowing you probably half dead now. 
You ain't taking the virus, but you got down me snorting powder and you doing all this other shit. You drinking, you smoking, you popping Xanax, you popping perks, all this bullshit. But you ain't taking a motherfucking virus. Hey, man, the black community is crazy in the motherfucker. And no, I ain't telling nobody take a, a vaccine. I mean, you ain't taking a vaccine. I said, I'm not telling nobody to take no motherfucking vaccine. But if you know somebody that you love has died from this shit, man, I don't give a fuck if you want to say it's man-made, fake, false, or whatever. The end of the day, man, motherfuckers is dying, man. I lost my grandmama to this shit, and I lost my great aunt to this shit. So I put it like this. I wish it would have been a vaccine before my grandmother passed. You know what I'm saying? That would have been real cool. Yeah, nurses got to take it. Like, I, I could be retarded, but if they giving this shit to the nurses and the doctors first, if all the nurses and all the doctors die, we're going to be dead in the motherfucking way, man. But but anyway, that, that we, we, I'm going to get off that motherfucking subject, my nigga, because, you know, I, I don't want to give nobody no bad advice when it comes to their motherfucking health because I'm not a doctor. I'm a well-read motherfucker. They got a, 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 a 72 motherfucking me PDF on Pfizer site. Go and go on Pfizer site. I read it. They got a 96 page motherfucking me uh, a, a, a PDF on Moderna motherfucking site. Go read they shit. Quit listening to motherfuckers, man. Go read for your motherfucking self. That's why motherfuckers think I'm smart. I'm not smart. Motherfucker, I just go read and I know how to comprehend. And I repeat what I read and motherfuckers think I'm smart when you can read the same motherfucking book and do the same shit. For real. Nah, yeah, now I know what I'm saying. If they do, you say, fuck a dead bitch. You can't be half real and still get credit when it's due. Lack of a father, hood out of pocket, period. No, 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 no. We're going to keep it 100. No, nigga. Every motherfucking nigga that lay down and make a motherfucking baby should look out for that child. It's just all about responsibility. I don't give a damn if you can't stand the bitch no more. I don't give a damn if the bitch fuck your daddy, your brother, your cousin. Now, I'm going to tell you some real shit. Nigga, take care of your motherfucking kids because the kid ain't got nothing to do with you. Like, that's your motherfucking DNA, nigga. That's you, nigga. That's you all over again. Motherfucker don't realize, nigga, that child ain't nothing but a reflection of you, fam. That's you all over again. So if you can't feel no motherfucking compassion for you all over again, you're a fucked up individual, man. For real. I ain't gonna lie, shit. And, and, and that's coming from a nigga. Y'all know me. Y'all know I got a, a plethora of children. For real. But y'all see me. With my plethora of children. No, nah, hell no, nah, kids ain't got nothing to do with the parents. That's stupid. That's like a nigga go out and go fuck a super duper tramp and then get mad because she a tramp after he have a baby by. You should have wore rubber like them other niggas, fool. Because if you're not wearing no motherfucking protection, a baby is part of your motherfucking plans. Whether you know it or not, for real. Niggas be out there trying to get the whole pregnant to keep them around. And then be keeping the wrong motherfuckers around. Now they mad. Now you're going to take it out on the baby. Man, the baby, ain't, I'm sorry. Like, like I'm one of them niggas, man. Y'all niggas know me. Lucky you know me. For real. You know me, Lucky. When I'm around my motherfucking partners. And, and it comes to kids, nigga, I'm going to speak on all simp shit. That's just like, goddamn me. I, I had a partner tell me. Man, I don't want to fire my motherfucking uh, stimulus. Uh, uh, cause I ain't gonna get the check. That bitch gonna get it anyway. I uh, know, nah, nigga, that bitch ain't getting that check. Nigga, your baby getting that check, nigga. I done heard niggas say, I don't want to file unemployment because they, uh, child support gonna take it out. Nigga, thank the motherfucking government again for helping you take care of your motherfucking baby, nigga. For real. Nigga, this is sweet tea, nigga. That's all, nigga. I'm talking about what I got in that cup. But now, nah, seriously, watch this, man. Facebook killed your comment. Yeah, because you probably was over there scoring on a nigga or something. Nigga talking about my bags or something. Funny looking ass nigga. Uh, 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 spruce or patch ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, Facebook will do that. No, nah, though, man, like, like, I swear to God, man, like, like a lot of times people think they can know you off of Facebook because niggas be cracking jokes and shit, you know. But when a nigga say some real shit, 
<laughs> you don't get that many likes. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes we fall into that little world or we fall into that little groove or whatever. It's like a nigga got to post some shit to be funny. You know, it got to be some outlandish wild shit. Can we post some real shit? Man, y'all don't hear us. Y'all don't follow that shit. People come out here looking for motherfucking entertainment. They ain't coming out looking for no motherfucking uh, Ricky Rush, no T.D. Jakes. Motherfucker don't come out here looking for no uh, uh, Farrakhan. They come out here and want to hear some motherfucking me, uh, funny Mike or some some jester hilarious. Motherfucker use the internet, you know, to try to get away. The internet is a drug for us, man. We use this shit to get away. So that's why we say funny, stupid shit sometimes. Like my nigga motherfucking me, Shabazz King, my motherfucking partner, man. I know y'all, y'all fucking my nigga Shabazz. Shabazz was on this bitch trying to give people a good time, a good laugh, have some fun, my nigga. And they took his whole motherfucking page, my nigga. For real. But then you got these whole ass niggas on her saying, uh, fuck George Floyd or uh, 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 black people ain't shit. They hate. Man, they promote. They don't never take their pages. For real. We got people saying a whole bunch of negative shit. They don't never, they don't never fuck with them people. That shit fucks me up. But if you get a, 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 a coon ass motherfucker talking bad about us, watch their views, boy, to blow like that shit get promoted. And the funny part, it ain't just white people watching that shit. It's black people watching that shit too, man. For real. Like, this shit is by design. Like, bro, like, we ought to be tired of this shit. We ought to be tired of watching the hood kill the hood. Niggas killing niggas. And, and we got half the niggas proud of the shit. And we got another half for the niggas hurting behind the shit. When, when all in all, bro, we hurt each other. We just fucking each other off. And then I ain't got no beef with nobody. I ain't into it with nobody. I ain't got no shit I'm hiding from. I'm just talking to y'all on, on a regular basis. Some real shit. Half these niggas, y'all ain't gonna hear from them unless they got some beef with somebody. They gonna come on this bitch with their guns. And hey, man, let me say something about the grown-ass, old-ass niggas. Man, y'all be on this bitch misleading these young niggas too. You be seeing old niggas on here showing guns and drugs and all that bullshit. Let me explain something. If I'm lying, boy, I'm motherfucking dying, man. For real, man. In a real way. The motherfucking judges. I seen this shit with my own motherfucking eyes with my son. My son was going to motherfucking court for a murder case. That's all I'm going to say. Now, I ain't going to speak on the details. And it ain't no shit no nigga proud of because the shit cost a lot of motherfucking money. And on God, I wish he wouldn't have did the shit. Even he wish he wouldn't have did the shit. He hate he did the shit. You know what I'm saying? But shit happened, my nigga. But when we was in the courtroom, man, and we trying to get my son out on bond, man, I'm just sharing this shit with y'all, man, because I feel like sometimes we be needing to hear some real shit. Because all we hear is a bunch of sucker niggas talking about what they ain't going to do, and half these niggas don't even know. From the moment you get arrested, nigga, you supposed to shut the fuck up. Plead the fifth. You don't know nothing. These niggas be catching these cases, don't know everything, public information. I be sitting back on the motherfucking internet reading these niggas' statements like a motherfucker. And when I see the niggas, I just, what's up, what's up, fool? And keep on moving. But a lot of these niggas don't be real, my nigga. I'm telling y'all. But like I was saying with my son, we trying to get him out on bond, man. We talking to the motherfucking, the lawyer talking to the judge. We trying to tell him, hey, man, he do music. He a good kid, this and that. You know, uh, 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 he just got caught up in the wrong crowd. You know, the whole shit where we tell them that they done heard from every motherfucking black family that come in that courtroom talking about their motherfucking kids. And the judge say, God damn, everybody's a rapper. So we like, well, he ain't been in no trouble. You know what the motherfucking people did for you niggas, grown ass niggas out here taking pictures with money and taking pictures with these guns and shit. Got these young niggas thinking that shit cool too. And for you young niggas doing it. Nigga, the judge pulled up my motherfucking son's social media page in the courtroom and went through every motherfucking picture with every gun, with every motherfucking statement about you a hitter or whatever. Nigga, they went through all that shit you be putting on social media. You think you can put that shit on and erase that shit? No. You can't erase shit on social media. They can pull all that shit up. All them little pussy pictures and shit you be inboxing. You thinking you the only person seeing you and that person? No. All the motherfuckers in Chola because social media see that shit. My nigga, them motherfuckers fucked me up, my nigga. They went to the, 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 the judge, gonna go through every motherfucking social media account associated with you. 
They're going to go through every motherfucking time somebody tags you. Then they're going to go on them niggas' pages. And they're going to see what a nigga be doing, where a nigga be hanging. Hey, man, they're going to hang a nigga, my nigga. That's why I tell people, man, use this social media shit to entertainment. Have some fun. You got some shit to sell. Man, promote your shit. For real. Promote your shit. For real. If you got some good shit, use this shit for some good shit, my nigga, because this is really a slick way to help them people. Just think if you was a motherfucking police officer and you wanted to know, like when the police used to come through the hood before we had social media, they didn't know what was going on in every motherfucking apartment in the hood. They didn't know what was going on inside every car in the hood they ride through. But now we gave them bitches. They, now they got a window to every motherfucking thing we do, everywhere we be, who we hang with. You can't even lie and say you don't know these people. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I be like, man, use this shit to win. Don't be using this shit to hurt yourself. You want to hurt yourself. You want to go to jail. You can do that shit without the motherfucking phone. You can do that without social media. For real. But lucky, man, I'm lucky. You know that. You, you, Y'all know I'm going to say real shit. Where a motherfucker around me or not, man. And y'all know how I feel about kids. Shit, I could have I could have been one of them niggas who had one baby. And, you know, um, niggas be wrong. You know, we be fucking with multiple people and shit. You know, we deal with multiple women. And, you know, we I, I'm going to say they. It, it said that, it, you know, this shit, you know, it, 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 it's wrong. But sometimes we be, you know, selfish. We be thinking about our motherfucking self. And we don't realize, Polo Rush, what's happening, baby? Johnny. For real, I know, I know you heard. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I ain't here to start no trouble. I ain't I'm like my niggas. I'm here to educate. For real, but like my, I damn like the kids. Nigga don't realize like this simple shit that I don't think niggas who ain't never been in their kids' life they don't realize. You being absent is gonna fuck this kid up because it's times where a little boy need to know some shit, see some shit, or ask some questions to a father. And when you not there, he gonna go ask some other motherfucker. It might be some low, uh, powder head ass or whack head ass nigga that got time for him. And they sit and talk to him. So he gonna get his game from some bullshit motherfuckers, man. You ain't gotta like the motherfucking baby mama to fuck with the kids. I don't know who told y'all that. Shit. I'm the motherfucking champion of that. For real, you ain't got to deal with them to take care of your kid, bro. But it's like we see a nigga, bro. I done, I, I done seen in the hood where a nigga got kids in the same motherfucking apartments that we hustled in. And I done seen the ice cream man come up. And the nigga supposed to be baby at the ice cream truck. And a nigga act like he don't even see the motherfucking baby. You know, I done seen this kind of shit. Why does he nigga live in the same apartments? It's the baby. And won't even go around the corner and check on him. And, 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 you know, I'm the type of nigga, I'm going to speak on that shit. That's why a lot of niggas ain't going to fuck with me. Don't hang around me because I'm going to speak on that shit. Like, hey, bro, you know you tripping, bro. Like, you know, nigga, that's your seed. The baby ain't did shit to you. You see it on, you hit it on the nail, nigga. Too much shit being condoned. Like, we condone a lot of shit. I think, I think we chalk a lot of shit up to, 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 to comedy. You know what I'm saying? We try to make ourselves think everything is a joke. You know, we just laugh about it. Ah, oh, look at that. Hee hee ha ha. We know motherfuckers be wrong. Sometimes it be our brothers. Shit, it be, you know, it be our goddamn me family members that's tripping. But since it's our family member, we don't say nothing. For real. Nah, man, you got to. That shit, like, a lot of niggas ain't going to admit. Man, that shit fuck you up. Not having no motherfucking daddy, Jack. I should have you trying to figure out shit on your own. And then, goddamn me, you, you, you're going to do a whole lot of shit wrong. You're going to make a lot of mistakes, man. And sometimes some young niggas, they make them little mistakes and they end up with a whole bunch of time early, man. For real. That shit fuck you up, man. But like I said, man, y'all use this social media to win, man. Use this social media to promote some shit and get you some motherfucking money, man. I just had to go live one time, man. I'm going to fuck with y'all, man.